Hello, everyone. One second, please. You're going to see a bit of my dirty hair. I'm sorry. It's been very humid today, so my hair is poofy. And I, I had to put it up in a pin earlier because, um, like, up in a hair clip. Because the hair tie just wasn't doing it. It was not doing a thing for me, which is just a little bit annoying. Um, but here we go. Sorry, just getting it into the messenger chat for everyone. Um, right. There we are. Ha. Okay. Hello. Done that. Hello, everyone. Um, for those who have never watched me before, I'm naming John Redshaw. I teach my community classes on Monday night on Facebook and on YouTube. So, depending on what platform you like to watch on, those are the, currently the only two we do. Um, we do do Instagram for one of our other ones, but not for mine, just because I've got limited space on my desk and I've already got an iPad basically covered in paint. So, <laughs> we don't need to add that to my laptop. Um, now let's get started. Tonight we're starting in our next book of our Rainbow Journal and it's the blue book. So look at this. Um, it is official that this Rainbow Journal has now lasted for me over a year, which is pretty good. That's 52 weeks out of one journal. By standards, it is amazing. Because normally we have to chop and change between journals throughout the year. But this has lasted us over a year now. Which is beautiful. And it's beautiful paper. Well, hello, Di. And hello, Raquel. And hello, DC. Over on the tube. Um, and hello, Tash. Right. So I had a bit of an idea. I've been, I've got, I've had this frame on my desk for about three weeks now. I desperately want to use it. And then I want to use, um some of our nautical dreams because I think it looks really funky but I also would like to do watercolor differently tonight so normally we do watercolor for shading or for flicks or we do it for animals it always has kind of like a purpose it's never the main medium we use it's always like a side step from acrylic or a side step from our coal ink we use it a lot to like add our lights and darks in my classes or in mum's classes to do flicking and smooshing it's never really the main feature and tonight I think or we do it to create an animal tonight I think I just want to do it kind of like abstract like so then you can see that playing with different materials is okay and we can go from there so like we're gonna have some fun um please tell me your suggestions if you've got any patterns or anything you want me to do let me know um we're not gonna really have I, I, we're not going to use stencils tonight or stamps. We're going to do this a very plain draw what you know type thing and be okay if it's not 100% perfect. I'm going to put myself out of my comfort zone as well and try and draw a few things. Like basic things like snowflakes. Well, I'm not very good at snowflakes, for example, or stars. Also not one of my key ones. Uh, triangles, you know, paintbrushes. We're, we're going to... We're going to do a few different things and we're going to experiment with like our paintbrush set. So we're not going to experiment with this one because he's dead now. He's been glued together so he's gone. But apart from that, so we're going to get out a few different paintbrushes. So we've got our fan, him and him, and we've got a small one. But let's also get out maybe... One of these boys and silver can use it with our watercolor because these are these are fun these are fun fun and then let's also see if we can get out uh, one of our skewers see what we can do so yeah we're gonna have some fun with some watercolor and see what we come up with it's probably gonna get very wet but that's okay because it is summer here it is hot and i would like it to be well, less humid. My hair has become untamable. I was actually swimming this morning. This is completely unrelated to painting. I was swimming this morning and my swimming cap flicked not from like upwards up on my forehead up, but 
now because my ponytail let go, my hair actually poofed out fully that my swimming cap flicked from the back forwards. So I lost my goggles at the same time and was like in the deep end going, where on earth did my swimming cap go? Because it just literally pinged out because my hair let go in the ponytail it was in and just like completely like it expanded. Like, you know, um, what's that stuff when you add water and expands? It's like a grade five is scientific experiment. Um, but yes, it, exactly like that. So we're going to wet our fan brush and let's come in and let's go for... Let's go for some greens. Let's go for green, hey? Let's. Well, hello, Karen. Let's come in. I'm not do smushing, but let's instead do the pressing of our fan brushes. It kind of makes like flowers, very beautiful flowers in fact. Let's just do them kind of all over. Evening, Bronnie. Had a pretty fantastic day. I didn't work on my remote player. Felt great. Gangbusters. Right. Now. Feel like we've got enough of those so we've got you know them kind of in a bit of a pattern and then let's come in and heat this now oh i just had a really cool idea actually but first let's just let's just dry what we want Try and get rid of some of the bubbles. Oh, I know you love green, Karen. It is your favourite colour in the world. Okay, before we go any further, we are going to get some paint pens, but it's only going to be, it's not going to take over the watercolor. The watercolor is still going to be our main medium. I just have a bit of a, a green bush, and I've lost some of my pens. One second, I've knocked the top over. Oh, dearie lordy. This is not what you want to do during your life. Okay, here we go. Sorry. A little bit unprofessional. Nothing new there for me. Okay, let's see. Does this one here work? Yes, it still has ink. Beautiful. And then we want excellent. That one that works. Okay. So we'll just grab two greens. And now if we come in.
we just lift it up. And we come in and we do so then they're like slices of fruit. And then we come in and do very tropical vibing. Uh, this weekend we are welcoming in autumn with our cyber crop in the creative family group we're going to have six challenges again um and we are having a bit of a longer date for you to post your pages up uh quick uh reminder that all pages uh that get entered into our cyber crop over the weekend uh need to have photos on them and we're um, doing cards and art journaling as well. And we're doing cards and art journaling in our next cyber crop as well. So and we'll also get an extra week. I think we we'll get to the thirteenth or something. Yeah, oh, we're no. doing. We're giving you all an extra week because it's now fair way into the year. Everyone's got stuff on. Yeah, we're giving you um, an extra week to get entries in. And that way, then, for all of you who are very busy this weekend, as we know, many of you have a lot of commitments on in your life. You've got plenty of time then to come in and do one or two pages or if you are um really into it you can do all six challenges mm. but we are welcoming autumn in together in our creative family group we would love it if you joined if you're not a part of the creative family group definitely join before the weekend they, oh, oh no they can watch you on youtube tonight yeah and um yeah you get prizes anyone who's got the winner winner chicken dinner prizes from last time will know that there some are some people don't have stuff to post with the prizes yet yeah some people don't have stuff to post their prizes yet so some of you haven't received them but any of them any of the winners who have received their prizes will know that they are absolutely worth it and it's so worth because you get to just create and have fun alongside other crafters as it is um friendship through craft this year it is the motto of the year because we're celebrating the friends we make while crafting. And there is our tropical fruits. Oh, hello, Pam. So, yeah, we got our first layer on. Now let's come and do our second layer. I think we're going to stick with the green theme tonight. I'm sorry for you purple fans. We do a lot of purple and we really do green. So let's come in and continue with our green theme. I think if we just come in and we do like some wiggles. Just for adding to the layer and because you can see that our watercolor beneath is dry so it's not it's moving a little bit but not a lot so as you can see just coming in and adding our squiggles in and then Here we go, just coming in and we're grabbing this vibrant neon green now. Let's come and do some circles. These are the ones that I'm good at. Because it's not really about moving a paintbrush, it's just about turning the tip on itself. So you actually keep the paintbrush set and then you just come in and
And then we're just coming in. There we go. And then if we come in next and we do some drying. So we just dry our watercolour because our watercolour does go a little bit muted when it gets dried. So it is so far. Let's look. When we sit it down, you can't really see it yet, so we've got to do a little bit more layering, which I think we're going to do next. So let's come in now, and we want to actually try and get. So we're going to try and get this green. moving a little bit. I want to see how these paintbrushes work with our watercolour. Yeah. Try and get some of that watercolour on the tip of it. I've never done this before, so just a heads up. might be a complete fail. Oh, hello, Dan. Shouldn't be paying attention to your online training then. <gasps> Look at that. Don't tell me. Uh, the class was at work. Yes, no. Dip a dub. It works. So all I did was I added a little bit of water and then I got my paintbrush and I've come in and I've really gone in there and try and like dig to China a little bit. A little bit, not too much, you know. And then I come in and I push it that way, push it that way, and you can realistically only get about that much on your on your little scraper. And look at him go. That is excellent. See, watercolor, just as good as acrylic some days. I do prefer acrylic. I am an acrylic fan. I will admit to that. Acrylic and me are best buddies. It's gotten me through some very hard times. Um, but I am fully willing to admit that watercolour is a close second. There we go. And now, if we come in and we do it with our um, aqua green, it's like kind of like a bit of a minty, a little bit of a mint green, just making sure it's activated. And we just come in now and we go in between. Our lines. Oops, sorry, you can't really see it. Sorry, going in between the lines.
and then coming in and doing it over here as well. And then let's just dry that real quick. Oh, our heat tool's a little bit over here. That's okay. What we'll come and do is, is we'll wait for it to dry. And when we wait for it to dry, so then we can add another pink highlight. So we want white. We want what? So we can add in like a few little white lines just to get it a little bit, you know, popping a little bit more. Hello, Rosie. Um, I'm just going to come in because we definitely need it to be a bit darker just around our edge here. So I'm just having a look at kind of where we need to put a few patterns. So I think if we come in and if we do maybe some swirls and I suppose aren't really my forte so let's just grab the screen here kind of see where we need to go just come in with a very small paintbrush and do some swirls and the swirls aren't really my forte because I tend to make them look a little bit like ease But that's okay. That is perfectly fine. Okay, I'm just coming in, doing a few more here and there. We're at least trying to. Right, and then let's have a bit of a look -sees. Do you think we just need a little bit of green here? And then we might be actually all right. So if we come in and we do... Just kind of a random just come and do really try and make it a little bit darker. And then while we wait for those dry, let's just grab our white pen. 
Everything is good. Lift. Continuing to add. Few white lines. See, it just helps you see them a little bit more when it's further away. The difference between the two greens, because they have a very similar, I guess we could call it as a grey base, a very similar, like they're on the same grey point on the colour scale. And then... Just come in now where with these dark green splotches are. Just add some white lines. It just kind of mimics the um There we go, so now I know it's a celebration of green tonight. Oh, look at that. Looks pretty good, I think. I don't actually know if we're going to need the blue paper, to be completely honest. And then, so let's come and stick him down. And then we'll do like the next little bit, which well, we stick both of these down and then we do the next bit of difference in watercolour. I think it'll be good once they're stuck down, but we definitely need them stuck down for the next bit. So let's grab out our glue. And I use gel medium matte, like always, just because it dries clear. And it's nice and strong and it's good if you've got sensitive skin because it doesn't react. I am a point in case for that. I paint with my hands when I shouldn't. I was actually told when I was um, 16 that if I was going to pursue painting I should wear gloves at all times. I tried it for about three months when I was 20. Gave up about at the three month mark and I didn't use them all the time because I felt odd. I feel like three months was a good trial period. Okay. Probably wasn't, but eh, it's all right. Now let's come and stick that down. Look how good it looks. There we go, making sure it's nice and flat. 
Um, before we do the next bit, we're just going to make sure this is stuck on properly. And by doing that, you just come and do a sandwich where you go over it again with vanilla layer of glue. This is just to secure the fact that there is no air bubbles. Um, as if there is air bubbles, it's going to fall off or actually decay your artwork, which you don't want to have that happen. It's not fun. So there we go. Nice and simple. And then let's come in and do our next bit where we add in our next frame. Woo! This one here's a little bit holy, so I do want a bit more glue on him because he's a little bit more finicky. This would have been better if I did it on plastic and not my hands, but mm. learning, 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 learning. Bit of glad wrap, you know. Okay. Stick him down. Oh dear. Ah, he's moving on us. Okay, we're all right. We're alive. We're alive, we're alive, we're alive. Woo! And there we are. So we've got that one. how he looks so far and now let's come in with our green and our very small paintbrush and we want our I think we want our dark green so we want this one here um, hold up what do we want this one Actually, let's come in with this one here. It's a bit more green. The other one's a bit bluey. Just going to come in and paint around. Our frame. There really is no quick fix to this. It's not going to be 100% opaque. You're still going to see the patterns behind it, but it's going to make everything have like a wash of this greeny color over it, which I think will be pretty nice because we've done green on green. Thank you, Chrissy. Just coming in now. And we're going to do like the little inner bits as well, I think. So the important thing is, is not to have your paintbrush overly wet. It's just, as you can see, I've got no drips on my paintbrush. Yeah, I'll lift it up to, oh, nearly dunked it on the wrong one. I'll lift it up to show you. So there's no drips on that. It's basically pure pigment. The... pigment tub as you can see is not actually very wet there's not much water in there it's mainly just pigment so just coming in
Yep, yeah, just adding a little bit of water because we're starting to run out, starting to become too dry. So just adding a little bit of water, but making sure you move that paintbrush around in your pan to or within your pigment pot, depending on what you like to call it. Just to get a new lot of pigment in there. I'm so close to having my full frame done. And there we go. Look at that. I do think it looks quite nice. And what we might come and do with, with that darker colour. If we just come in. And add it so that it's coming in on like the edge here. Yeah? a one color page bit of a challenge this week see if you can make a page that's only one tone it's got one color only in it you know and then Let's see. I do think it's just missing something. Not much, but just something. I I reckon I know what it is, but it's a little bit skeptical. So we're just going to come in. Not with too much of this green on our paintbrush. Just a little bit. So then the white is not so harsh. We're just going to come and do that little bit of that effect over some of them. Oh, that's a bit too dark. See, too dark, too dark, too dark. Let's try and. Where's the gauze? Him. There we go, and then we just come in with this other green paint pen now. Just adding a pattern. It's only going to be secondary to the other stuff we've already done.
Man. There. I think we might be done. Green on green for all you green fans. It's our first page in our book and it's like a frame inside a frame. And look at that. So there's going to be no bundle tonight because all we used was watercolour paint pens and this white linen frame. But the white linen frame is up and I'm going to put the link in the um, description of the class so you guys can go back and uh, click on the link and, you know, get to the frame if you want to use the exact one. If not, I do challenge you all to doing a, a one-tone page thing and posting up, getting you warmed up for the cyber crop this weekend. Uh, by the way, that's not going to be one long. It's kind of like one of the challenges, but it's not going to be 100% like one of the challenges. So just getting a bit warmed up, but yeah. So thank you all for coming, and we'll see you throughout the week. Super excited for this weekend, um, and going to look forward to seeing all your creations. So have a great weekend, and um, stay, uh, not great weekend, have a great week, and stay safe. Bye.